In this video, I'm demonstrating deep side milling using a half inch deep side mill end mill. Now this is just the finish pass that's going to be going over. Uh, I just wanted to show this the surface finish that you could achieve with it and talk a little bit about it, the advantages of using this end mill. Um, at the bottom of the video, I'll also include a, a link where you could buy this end mill at. Um, so the difference between this and, and other end mills is it has less flute length so but it has a step down body where it allows you to step down and, and and overlap it without having too much tool pressure the advantages of that is you could get less deflection and also it has a radius on the back of the step so it it leaves a very nice surface finish i used a high feed end mill to rough it and then a semi finish pass and this will be the, the final spring pass before I got this end mill, I used a long 5 8 end mill, and I didn't quite have the reach with it, so I had to grind a relief on the back side of it so that the shank doesn't rub against the part and mar it. So it, when I step down, it, it doesn't rub against the part. Also, I had to reduce the speeds and feeds so that it won't chatter. It was getting a little chatter on the part before. This way I could increase the surface feet and uh, get less chatter because the shank is so solid. You're looking at uh, a flute length of about two and a half diameters, and I'm stepping over about two diameters. With this end mill, uh, I'm getting a smoother surface finish and little to no taper. I'm also using a ER32 holder. In the future, I want to make a video using a more rigid holder, maybe like a hydraulic holder, and do some more tests with the longer hangout, uh, simulating a, a deeper side mill. The finish came out really smooth, but I wanted to play around with the speeds and feeds, see if I could just dial it in just right to get a real, real nice finish.